Haleluya, Haleluya, Haleluya. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah, for you have done for us. Hallelujah, we are grateful, oh Lord. The word of the Lord declares in the book of Psalm 100, verse number 4. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we have come into your court. We praise this morning. We exalt you. We magnify you. We adore you. We bless your name. You are dependable. You are trustworthy. You are kind. You are merciful. We give you all the glory this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the mountain of clam. Thank you for appearing in the Lord. Thank you for every member of clam, both online and on serve. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this morning's service. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we give God thanks. Your amen can be louder than there. The word of the Lord declares in the book of Psalm 85, verse number 7. Show us thy mercy, O Lord. Great is thy salvation. Lord, I ask today, we have come the same way we are before you this morning. O Lord, show us mercy in the name of Jesus. Wherever we have sinned against you, wherever we have come short of your glory, Lord, show us mercy. This morning in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail over every judgment of sin. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have obtained mercy. Revelation 12, 11 says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus this morning. Lord, I ask that the blood of Jesus speak better things on behalf of this service, this morning in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus take over. Blood of Jesus flow. By the blood of Jesus, we destroy every concluded work of dark personalities. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, the blood of Jesus has prevailed. The word of the Lord declares in the book of Luke chapter number 3 and verse 21. Now, when all the people were being baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized, praying the heaven was open. I hereby decree this morning that the heaven of power, heaven of the word of God, heaven of glory, open over this service in the name of Jesus. I decree that your heaven and my open. Your heaven and my heavens. Open in this service. In the name of Jesus. Heaven of testimony. Heaven of the word of God. Heaven of deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. In Jesus mighty name. Our heavens are open. In the book of 2 Corinthians. Chapter number 3 and verse number 17. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Sweet Holy Spirit of God, the hour has come. We hand over to you, Holy Spirit. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, glorify Jesus in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, the Holy Spirit has taken over. I decree and I declare the same God that encountered Moses by the burning bush. We encounter you and I in this service in the name of Jesus. An encounter that will bring a divine intervention into that matter. Let the Lord give unto you in the name of Jesus. It is done in 
Jesus mighty name I have declared come on celebrate Jesus one more time this morning give it to him give it to him give it to him give it to him if you are clapping clap very well to the king of kings to the ancients of days that make you a night of life today come on give it to him this morning give it to him this morning give it to him this morning celebrate Jesus We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Raise your voice.
the bread you saw this morning. Only with sound and general version. I heard the person of this morning. It's worthy of our praise.
going to worship the King of Kings this morning. Lord of glory, we worship your majesty this morning. We worship you this morning. We give you praise, we give you honor. I am that I am. The King of glory. The rose of Sharon. The Lamb of Him. Magnify you this morning. Lord of glory, we worship you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for the month of January. Thank you for the month of February. Thank you for the month of March. Lord, we thank you for what you are doing on the mountain of Clam. Thank you for appearing to the Lord. Thank you for Clam's formation. Thank you for the oath. Thank you for the view. Lord of glory, we have come this morning to say thank you to all your doings in our life, Lord, this morning. Thank you, Daddy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord of glory, we worship you. Lord of glory, we magnify you. Thank you, Daddy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. By the word of prophecy, through our Father and the Lord, this month has been declared as a month of divine lift. In accordance with the word of the Lord in Psalm 3, verse 3. Media give it to us. Psalm 3, verse 3. But you, O Lord, I shade for me my glory and the one who lifts up my head. Listen to me, beloved. Every word of God comes with a purpose. Every word of God comes with accomplishments. There is no accidental charge with the word of God. So I've come this morning to make a declaration in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wherever your head has been bowed down, wherever your head has been bowed down by the power and authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command this morning, let there be lifted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be lifted by fire. Wherever your marital head has been bowed down, I declare this morning, let there be lifted in the name of Jesus. Wherever your head of finances has been bowed down, let there be lifted in the name of Jesus. Wherever your spiritual head has been bowed down, I declare this morning, let you be lifted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever that you are passing through, that Satan has bowed down your head, I have come this morning in the name that's above all names, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let you be lifted by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Set you. Let's get my hand for Jesus this morning. Let's get my hand for Jesus. Welcome someone to church this morning. You are welcome to church in the name of Jesus. Sit down and relax as I take you to the studio. to Christ Living Spring Apostolic Ministry, CLAM. With special greetings from our parents in the Lord, Pastor Wale Oladin and Pastor Mrs. Bukola Oladin. You are welcome to church. This broadcast is reaching you live from Prayer Parliament TV, Lagos, Nigeria. I am Melody Izedomen. Telling the word of God's faithfulness in our lives glorifies God. It strengthens the faith of others. It seals our blessings and breakthroughs. So kindly register your testimony at the pastorate as we forward or you forward them to the address on the screen. Don't hold back God's goodness. Testify about it. Now, let us listen to what God has done. Praise the Lord. My name is Juliet Ogemuda. I came to return the glory, all the glory to God of my Papa, Apostle Wololadion, for what he has done for me. The Lord has been so good to me. And um, I was trusting God for financial breakthrough. My heart's rent was due. So during the program with 
Pastor Lake Senusi to so call out seed faith. So I came out, I came to it, and that was on Thursday. On Friday, by the grace of God, I renew it. So on Sunday, the Lord did it. I paid my ass rent. And during the program, I was seriously down. I, I want, it was uh, on Tuesday. That's very weak. So I just, uh, after work, I know that I w before I ran up, it was uh, about 11.40. So I said, let me relax before I would do my midnight prayer and all that. So about, I woke up 12 after 12. So what woke me up, that I just fed a hand, you know, trying to pull off the life out of me, you know. I just stood up, you know. I started praying, 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 calling God of uh, Pastor Wolo Ladion. So the next day, I went to hospital. So they said malaria, typhoid, they treated me and all that. From there, I, the, my, the sleep just disappeared from my eye. I was not sleeping. They checked BP and everything was okay, you know. They gave me tablets and all that. I, I could not sleep. So on, on Wednesday, I came to... Uh, Wednesday program, Pastor uh, Sholale Olaleye preached, I know that I caused uh, some people out, so I came out, I was praying, I know that, I went home, but I relaxed, but on Thursday, to the glory of God, almost two weeks, I was able to sleep like a newborn baby, I give God all the glory, uh, thirdly, my, my nephew is a pastor, so he went for a ministerial work, when he was coming by, he took a bike, when he got home, when he paid the bike, immediately his manhood disappeared, so I called on the God of Apostle Wolo Ladion. I came to the altar to pray and I called him. I encouraged him what daddy went through, the testimony daddy shared that he should, he should not worry. God of total restoration will restore it. I want to give God all the glory that his mouth will restored back. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is uh, Martinuke Mayomi. Uh, I've come to give God the glory. I've come to return the glory back to him. On this day, 20th of March, 1984, a beautiful damsel was born, and she's 40 years old today. Praise the Lord. Pra praise the Lord. My name is Eric Oyeminem. I want to testify to the mercy, the goodness, and the favor of the Lord. Um, sometime in 2022, I started struggling at my place of work. I thought I was becoming toxic and all. So I called my um, career mentor, and I did tell him that I would appreciate if he could help me, that I need a career change. So he was like, okay, I will call you back. I called him again and said, what I actually meant was, I didn't want to work in Nigeria again, that I want an international job. He said, okay, that he will call me back. So he did call me and told me about an opportunity. I said, okay, I'm good with it. So um, as I prayed, as I prayed, nothing was happening. At the Dream Conference 2022, I was sitting down somewhere there, and um, Apostle Dele Johnson all of a sudden stopped preaching and pointed in my direction that you, that brother that is trusting God for that international job, that God has done it. You just have to believe it. And I received it. Um, 2023 was declared our year of mercy. On day nine of um, the um, prayer and fasting um, booklet, um, the God gave me Ezekiel 17, 24, and I grabbed it and I confessed it to the glory of God. A few days ago, I received my contract for an international job to the glory of God. Your testimonies are covered with the blood of Jesus. It will not work against you members of CLAM and our parents in the Lord, in Jesus' name. The weekend deliverance for the month of March we hold on Friday, 29th of March at 10 p.m. Please make plans to attend as God commands your deliverance in Jesus' name. Pregnant Women Deliverance Prayer continues today at the Things Church immediately after the service. Join us both online and on-site for our weekly and monthly programs which are scheduled as follows. Sunday Glorious Service, 8 a.m. Family Life Sunday holds every third Sunday of the month at 8 a.m. Wednesday Revival Service holds at 8 a.m. prompt. Weekly Deliverance School holds every Tuesday to Thursday at 8.30 a.m. Our other programs are Pregnant Women Prayer Meeting every Tuesday, 9 a.m. O Lord, set to me holds every first Saturday of the month at 8 a.m. 
Children Deliverance and Parent Interceding Prayer Meeting holds every second Saturday of the month at 8 a.m. Bible Study Hour holds online every Thursday at 5 p.m. Prayer Solution Hour holds online every Friday at 6 p.m. Join the Ambassador's Church for Mystery of Worship today by 5.30 p.m. This announcement is from Family Life Directorate. Registration for the first diet of 2024 Family Life Academy is ongoing. Lectures will commence on Monday 1st to Sunday 7th of April 2024. The Family Life Academy is specially packaged by the Holy Spirit through our Father and Mother in the Lord, Pastor Wale Oladiyum and Pastor Mrs. Bukola Oladiyum. For those who want to start and maintain good marital foundation and enjoy bliss in their marriage and home. Who may attend? A man and woman of marriageable age, intending couples with strong and compatible conviction to become husband and wife, intending couples with readiness to marry, intending couples who want to build their marriage on godly foundation. Conditions for acceptance, be of marriageable age, have a strong and compatible conviction, complete readiness to marry, intending couples must be male and female. The procedure, interested persons are to submit their letters of application to the Family Life Office on or before Thursday, March, 20, March 28, 2024. For soul energy materials and prayers, please log on to www.prayerparliament.com. You can also download the app on the Google Store or Apple Play Store. Take advantage of God's gifts through our parents in the Lord by getting any of their many books, amongst which are Breakthrough, Prayers, My Business Must Prosper, Financial Breakthrough, The Covenant Way, 21 Ways to Reignite Romance in Your Marriage, Turn Around, and many more. You can get any of these books at Clam Bookshop and all Clam Formation worldwide or visit www.waleoladion.com forward slash store jumia.com and outskirt press if you are joining us for the first time today both online and on site we want to extend a special welcome to you if you are on site would you please rise to your feet as our ushers and people around welcome you and if you are online please type first timer in the comment section our online pastor will gladly attend to you. As we come to this mountain, where we pray the word in faith and holiness. family please do not hesitate to ask our ushers questions for the clarity of our services even as we desire to have you fellowship with us again and that's the news thank you for watching i am melody izedome enjoy god's presence from the rising of the sun. To the setting of the sun, your name is to be alone. Adonai. From the rising of the sun, to the setting of the sun, your name, your name is to be alone. From the rise 
This morning, could you please be on your feet? Isaiah says, of 60, verse 2 say, Darkness shall cover the head, gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall rise for you this morning. You are not saying amen as you mean it. The Lord shall rise for you this morning. Amen. And His glory shall be seen upon your life. No matter how gross the darkness, the Lord shall rise for you this morning. Amen. Amen. Oluwa, Dide. Oluwa, Thank you. 
Be filled with waters. Could you please raise up your beautiful hands? Give God seven now. Hallelujah. Shall we go? Look at someone by your side. Tell that person, God will make you to laugh. Are you afraid to say to that person? Say it again. Now look at another person. Tell that person. God has made me to laugh. And I will laugh. Okay. Turn up your voice. You that person. Tell another person. God has made me to laugh. God has made me to laugh. And I will laugh. Look at another person. God has made us to laugh. And we will laugh. Okay, look at one beautiful or handsome person by your side. Tell that person, it's high time for the Christians to begin to laugh at the devil. <laughs> look at another person, say it's high time for we the Christians to begin to laugh at the devil. <laughs> It's high time for the Christians begin to laugh at the devil. Ha ha ha. It's high time for the Christians begin to laugh at the devil. Pick a partner now, pick a partner. If this 
to do it. You can come out. Are you ready? This I can for the Christians. Take it to my body down. should rejoice and be glad in it no matter what is happening all over the world your word affirms in Psalm 126 verse 1 when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like those people that drink then was our mouth filled with laughter filled with laughter filled with laughter and our tongue with singing Lord I pray for everyone who believes in the supernatural that no matter what you are going through, the Lord will fill your mouth with laughter. Okay, they are not ready. That's it. The Lord will fill your mouth with laughter. He will fill your mouth with laughter. In the name of Jesus, your tongue will sing in. In the name of Jesus. On that matter, if your amen is the loudest, the Lord will fill your mouth with laughter. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Welcome your neighbor to the meeting in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take our hymn together very quickly. We have a lot to do today. Have faith in God. Are we ready? You are free to sit down or stand. Onside church, I say good morning, good day to you. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. 
In the journey of life, you, that brother there, you will not be stranded. Amen. All right. Who is that sister saying amen online? In the journey of life, you will not be stranded. Amen. In the name of, I said you will not be stranded. Amen. The Lord wants me to tell someone here that there's a new beginning for you. Amen. And the message today will set you on the path of that new beginning. Amen. God is going to call you by a new name. Amen. With the mouth of the Lord shall name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I have a message for someone before I go on. You have trusted a human being more than God. Five days ago, God orchestrated something like a fight between you and that person. The Lord is saying he wants to separate you from that person because that person is not your God. First Corinthians 2, 5. That you have elevated that person above God. And that person is not your supplier. God is your supplier. First Corinthians 2, 5. That your faith, your hope, should not be in the wisdom of men. Whether they are sending dollars for you from abroad. No, they are not your God. But in the power of God, not in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God, not in the wisdom of men. Men can die overnight. God never dies. God is separating you from that person so that you can allow God to take over. Yes. Oh, yes, it's true. You have prayed for that person. The person has received a breakthrough. He's not picking your phone. It's not your God. What we have done is a seed. Every seed speaks. But may not speak through that person, through that same channel. But every seed, every good seed you have sown will eventually speak. I pray for that person that within the next 24 hours, the confirmation of this prophecy, the Lord will deliver it to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will rise up for your help. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. When the voice of joy and Gladness Women International Ministry was about having the worship hours. My wife woke up and said, she woke up with a song. Incidentally, you know, she's an Anglican person. Me, I'm a CAC person. And she started singing, The way I was, you know, me want to pay more caption, lady. Apostolic, only apostolic look up. Amy, she came to my study table and said, Only Pastor Bami Bess English. I mean, I mean, Yami sense you, Moya Bessi. I will live to a high. Oh, the most powerful God in the midst of the multitude. I will live to a high. Hey, but I will find you. Pastor Femi, you better clap for me very well now. Huh? So, just be seated. So, if you know you are going to lift God higher and higher, higher on that matter, where you are seated, don't stand up. We say, I will live to on high. Say so. I will live to on high. God bless you, sir. I like that man. I will live to on high. I will live to on high. Oh, the most powerful God. In the midst of the multitude, I will live to on high. Show Jesse. Shall we try it together again? I will live to on high. Oh, the most powerful God. In the midst of the multitude, I will live to on high. Amen. If you're singing very well, meaning that in the midst of the multitude here and those worshiping God, you will have the best testimony and you will lift God higher. Are you ready now? I will lift you on high. Oh, the most powerful God in the midst of the multitude. I will lift you on high. I will lift you on high. Oh, yes. Oh, the most powerful in the midst of the multitude, I will lead you on Amen. Those people who are not shopping their mouth, and you are sure of yourself, I need about 100 here. 
come and sing it before the altar. But you will promise me that you will dance. So. You will shake your body. Are you ready now? Where are the men now? Uh-uh. Where are... Come and dance, Jabe. Come, come. The man with the mysterious pen. If you don't carry body, I go send you back. Yo. Somebody shout hallelujah. So I want to roar that the poor that CAC. Are you ready now? I will live to our heart. Oh, the most powerful God in the midst of the body. Of the multitude in your family, your cousins, your neighbors, not just that. Let's you say, I will lift you all in this meeting. Wherever I find myself, I'm the one that will lift up God so high. Are you ready now? I want your hands to do clapping, your legs, legs work, body, body work. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, I will lift you. Because you are the author of this song. We are going to the studio to do it together. Amen. We put it online. So you are going to that. So when God will surprise you, say, ah, ah, me are singing. Ah, see what God has done. Now, everyone who will sing it this third time with joy and revelation, in the name of Jesus, a miraculous turn around shall be your portion. Amen. Are you ready now? One, two, go. I, I will lead you to you Oh, the most powerful God in the midst of the multitude. I will live to honor. I will live to honor. I will live to honor. Oh, the most powerful God. I will. I will lift you up. I will lift you up. 
are going to lift up God higher and higher on that matter. Shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go and testify. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Please be seated. Wow. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Let's celebrate Pastor Bukola Aladi. Pastor Adewale. The Lord said he has done it before he wants to do it again. Amen. Anyone who kiss into that testimony, God has done it before. He wants to do it again. I don't know who is going to kiss into that prophecy. God said he has done it before. He wants to do it again. Everyone who says amen to that, what God has done it before, again and again, he will do it for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. he will do it for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. When I see people God has blessed, waking up early to come to church, I'm delighted. People who have seen the word, they have it. There's nothing they are looking for, but they want to serve God. So I want to celebrate Prince Olati, Lord. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He, will, he won't miss any service, except it's not in Lagos. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep your family. Keep your work in the name of Jesus. As you reverence God, till your old age, 120, you and your wife and children, you will serve God. Go and do well in Jesus' name. My heart blesses you this morning. I don't know why. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. Listen to this very carefully. See, what is happening all over the world? Now? Everyone is concerned. It's even worse outside Nigeria. Unless, because the money you pay for your rent for 12 months is what they take for one month. Now, because Nigeria is sneezing, Ghana has caught fever. All the West African countries, they have caught fever. Because Nigeria is very important. Nigeria will not go down. Amen. God said to me, He will pity you. Sir, do you understand? You say, how can God pity me? It's in the Bible. God will pity you. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you may be all over, I say God will pity you. He will pity your family. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Let me deliver this very quickly, then go to the main message. I have taught you here before. But I'm, I'm going to do a very quick recap. Let me just do a quick recap. Okay, you will interpret some things for me now. To pity means to show compassion. To pity means to show mercy. To pity means to show empathy. To pity means to show understanding. To show good feelings. To pity means to show good emotions. Then I, I remember that they are said to pity means to show root. Root means a feeling of pity. That's the meaning of that name. Pity, uh, root. A feeling of pity. So if you know that to pity means to show compassion, to show mercy. I pray again for you that no matter what you are going through, God will pity you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The amen should be louder than that. God will pity you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm waiting for one man to say a big amen. God will pity you. Amen. See, God will always pity his people. I'm going to read about four versions of Joel 2.18. Joel 2.18. The, the original KJV says, Then will the Lord be jealous for his land. So, that land there you can put, Then will the Lord be jealous for me, Wally Oladi and my family will be jealous for my family, will be jealous for my work. And pity his people. Is it in the Bible like that? Say God will be jealous for my land. And pity me. And my family. Then the good news Bible says, then the Lord showed concern for his land and he had mercy on his people. Meaning that that pity can be replaced, can be substituted with mercy. You, that person, your land, land of marriage, land of family, land of ideas, 
God will show you concern. Amen. Uh -huh. You are getting it. God will show you concern. Amen. God will be concerned about you. Amen. If you want God to be concerned about your work, you jump up and say amen. God will be concerned concerning your work. Amen. God will be concerned concerning your family. Amen. About your family. Amen. God will show you concern. Amen. God will show you concern. Amen. God will show you concern. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sit down, please. But the New Living Translation says, then the Lord will pity his people and jealously guide and honor the land. Only 1,000 people should say amen to this. As from today, God will jealously guide you. Amen. <laughs> Me and my family, you and your family, God will jealously guide us. Amen. Can the amen be louder than that? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Then, please sit down. The message Bible says, at that, God went into action to get the lamb back. He took pity on his people. God will take pity on you. Amen. Psalm 102, verse 13. In three versions, then I prophesy. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon my Zion for the time to favor me. The set time is now. Everyone sit very well as if you want to take passport photograph. Don't be too comfortable. Say, I believe the word of God. Can you say it loud and clear? Say it, let every organ in you, let every organ you hear. Say, my father, my father. No matter what is happening all over the world. You will arise. Have mercy on my Zion. Have mercy on my Zion. For the time to favor me. To favor my family. To favor my work. The third time has come. Say big amen. Amen. Sit down. Good news says, you, God, we arise and take pity upon my Zion. Take pity. For the time has come to have mercy on her. This is the right time. Say, my father in heaven. Say it again. Eh? Are you afraid to talk to your father? Say, arise. And pity me. What you are doing? And my family. And my work. Say, the time has come for you to show us mercy. Say, this is the right time. Say, big amen. Amen. But I love NR, NIRV. This one caused fight between me and the media. <laughs> Last Sunday, but we have said we don't say to. Um, we beef on ourselves, but we don't say to. Lord, if you are looking at anyone in my family, in my whole town, in my village, to show deep concern. <laughs> to show what? This version, I love it. You will arise, oh Lord. Oto get enough is enough. You will arise and show deep concern for me, for my family, for my work, for my head, for what I'm passing through. Show deep concern. The time has come for you to favor me. So we want to emphasize deep concern. Not show concern. Show deep concern. When God shows you deep concern, you are made. Are you ready? You can kneel down, you can stand up, you can sit down. All I want you to do is to appropriate the scripture to your life. Say, my father in heaven. My, my father, father in heaven. heaven. Arise. Arise. Show deep concern. Show deep concern. For me and my family. For me and my family. And my work. And my work. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my father. Oh, Lord, my father. Show deep concern for my life. For my life. In, the In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to prophesy. In the name of Jesus. My father in heaven, show deep, deep concern. concern for my life. Show deep concern. Deep concern. Deep concern. In the name of Jesus. For my life, for my family, for my ministry. Show deep concern. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, show deep concern. Now, this is in the Jesus, then we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Those watching online, I'm going to bring out some what I call prayer indices of God showing you pity. So, if an index 
has to do with you. Please pray where you are. But if you are within this apostolic arena, you come before the altar. You can be an archbishop, it doesn't matter. You can be a prophet, you can be an evangelist, you can be a teacher, you can be a pastor. When it comes to the time of God showing you favor, and your case is mentioned, you run outside. Number one, you are in a messy situation. Come here. Two, you are left alone. No one shows care to you. In fact, people you labored, you have labored on, they have deserted you. And they are mocking you. Especially pastors, you, you better jump, jump out too. They just abandon you. you. Remember, nobody writes any application to come to any church. <laughs> so some people, you do well, you labor, you spend your blood on them, they will still leave you. But God must not leave you. That's the only person that must not leave you. Loneliness is frustrating you. You may be married, you may not be married, but you are just lonely. Mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, you are drained out. You have no one to talk to but God. If you can't come out to rise up where you are. You need God to empathize with you. Look at me, everybody. Three behavioral actions. When something is not happening to you, I may show apathy. That means I don't care. You may be suffering and waiting concern me. That's apathy. I may sympathize with you. I'm sympathizing. Oh, sorry, oh, but I'm not feeling what you are feeling. But when I show you empathy, I enter into what you are doing. I am feeling what you are feeling. That's empathy. So empathy, sympathy, apathy. May God empathize with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brother Demola Kimbola, is my analysis okay, sir? That's my media strategist. That's the person. In charge of media strategy. So it's my media strategist. So I learn from him. Where you need God's own empathy. That no human being can show you. I don't know who is going to say the loudest amen. May God show you empathy. Amen. Amen. God will empathize with you. Amen. He will empathize with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Then the, 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 if you are in this group. There is a terrible gang up against you and your work, and you need God to build you out. You can't defend yourself, but God, you want God to defend, defend you. Now, if you're in that situation, give God seven loud hallelujah. Want to go? Hallelujah! 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 We sing this song. I have no. I have no power of my own. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I look up to you. Help me. I have no power of my own. Power of my own. I have no power of my own. Let God hear your voice, please.
begin to say amen to the following declarations. As from this moment, because you don't have any other God, only those who don't serve any other God but the Almighty God, God will pity you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. we pity your family, amen. pity your business, amen. pity your endeavor. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. the condition that you are in now, God will show you pity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In, the, in the name of Jesus, the following people that Lord, uh, those people have called outside and those who are saying amen online, God will show you compassion. Amen. He will show you sympathy. Amen. Empathy. Amen. He will show you understanding. Amen. Tender feelings. Amen. Good emotions. Amen. I make a decree that God will go extra miles for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God we go extra miles. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God will surprise you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God will surprise you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. On that matter, you will see the hand of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will see the hand of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God will show you pity. Amen. Show your family pity. Amen. Show your wife pity. Amen. Show you compassion. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Testimonies are rising from this declaration. If you are that person who will, who will receive them, now, re, now you say the loudest amen. Receive testimonies. Amen. In the name of God the Father, amen. the Son, amen. the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus' name I have declared. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name says. Congratulations. By the grace of God, we are starting our crusade this year. God has led us to a town called Ijare in Ondo State. And that will be holding May 16 to 18. And after that, we face Gombe by the grace of God. The arrangement is, is, is on. Make sure you are part of the crusade by allowing the Holy Spirit to minister to you, to give towards it. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I was in CAC Miracle Center five nights ago for an open hair crusade. Mm. You need to go to Facebook to uh, go and see. God moved in a very powerful way. It was a pure administration done in CAC Yoruba. You know we have our Yoruba. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the story of a man. Again, so it's not going to for you. Who has been a Christian for quite a long time. Very, very fervent. But this guy is always feeling a strange headache. Anytime he wants to do something good. Anytime he's about being given any breakthrough. When he's about concluding any matter. The headache will come. And everything he wants to do will be forfeited. I've been praying all manners of prayer. All manners of prayer. But one day, a, a, a servant of God was on the altar. And he said, The battles that are battling you that you can't decipher, you can't discern, you don't know the root cause. That no matter how long you have been in that in the, the battles, today, God, by his power, will show you the secret and bail you out. We we'll show you the secret and bail you out. It will make you to escape miraculously in the name of Jesus. Even as some people are saying amen, it's happening to them. God will show you secrets and bail you out. You will escape. Then he, he touched them. 
what I'm about teaching you. And he said to them, if there is a hidden covenant that someone had made on your behalf or not to you, God will reveal to you. I'll bail you out. Just to call you. Where he was saying, Amen. But she saw me. A vision was shown him. I no. By the Almighty God. Lord, Lord, Lord. He saw. Lord. That his father, when he was born, the following day, he went to the Ogboni Confraternity Coven. I penned this one down to replace me. And the guy grew up. The father died. I'm sorry. The, no, no, the father. No. Before the father died, the father confided in someone that this boy, if he does not belong to the confraternity. He will suffer throughout his life. And that person was alive in that family. The father passed on. So inside the prayer meeting, he was shown that vision. And the Lord said, go to your family house. This is your, way, your own way of escape. That person your father confided in. Confront that person in the name of Jesus. He will confirm this. Then carry out this and that. He prayed. He went there. On getting there, he started saying, Oh Lord, I answered by fire. In the name of Jesus. He said, How are you? He didn't answer them. Say, Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Redeem every environment. Today is the day of my deliverance. Upon my Zion, there shall be deliverance. In the name of Jesus, I am born again. I, am, I, I receive my emancipation today. My, my liberty, my freedom. In the name of Jesus. Any hidden covenant. In in the name of Jesus, break by fire, break by fire. The person the father confided in came and said, ah, 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 what have we done? And he said, in the name of Jesus, what have you not done? Did my father not tell you before he died that he had made a covenant on my behalf in Oboni Confraternity and he said to you, if I don't go there, no way of escape, no bailout. But now that I know God, now that I believe in Jesus, he has shown me the secret. Confirm it now. And the man said, take it easy with you. No, I'm not taking it easy with you. Right from the day of John the Baptist, Matthew 11, 12, the kingdom of heaven shall the violence. Only the violent shall take it back No, in the, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, confess. The man said, it is true. That is why things are not working for you. And the brother started praying. And his, the man said, this is the place he has placed, he has buried something. He took his soil, he went there. That was the end of his calamity. Every living soul suffering from an unknown hidden covenant and you have been suffering home and abroad under this ministration today the Lord will pour upon you the oil of escape hey, the Lord will pour upon you the oil of revelation Amen. the Lord will bail you out Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. say bigger Amen, Amen. That informs the message today. Anointing to escape, anointing for bailout. If I may have at an Listen. Listen. In First Corinthians 10 13. First Corinthians 10 13. They had no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not tempt you above that which you can bear? But he will, will that temptation make a way of escape. What are you going through? That thing is making you to begin to doubt your Christianity. Look at yourself. Say to yourself, I'm a pastor. pastor I am me. more than this. People who are not doing one, 100 deaths, they are better. I am a Christian. Why am I not doing well? Why are unbelievers doing well around me? Will I die in this temptation? <laughs> but the Bible says, in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, there is no temptation that I'm going through. That is not common to man. But God is faithful. God is faithful. Who will not allow me to be tempted above that 
which I can bear. He knows my breaking point. He knows my breaking threshold. But the Bible says he will use that temptation to make a way of escape. Can you see to make a way of escape so that I can testify to that? Can I pray for someone? No matter what you are passing through, God will make you to escape. He will make a way of escape yeah, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, he will make a way of escape yeah, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, this is the third time you don't know whether this is the point where God will show you that revelation. He will make a way of escape yeah, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Say to yourself, God will make a way of escape. For me and my family. For me and my family. Say enough is enough. enough, enough. Is God will make a way of escape. In the name of Jesus. Say to yourself, God will make a way of escape. For me. In the name of Jesus. Say big amen. Amen. There are many of you in a very tight corner. You are in a terrible situation. You need the anointing to escape from that tight corner, from that terrible situation. You have been stranded in the journey of life. You have been boxed up. Situations and circumstances that are negative have captured you. See, what 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 you are going through you know that, that you are, it's like you are in a spiritual prison but i want to tell you by the power in the blood of jesus anyone any who have been captured who have been put in spiritual prison that if you see no by the finished work of Calvary. The anointed for you to escape. If I mean, the anointed for you to be bailed out. If your amen is the loudest. Let it follow you in the name oh, of Jesus. Amen. You will escape. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God will bail you out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Why is your life repeating after the life of your father or your life is repeating after the life of your mother? No one among your siblings is making it. What kind of collective prison have they put you? By the freedom that the blood of Jesus has given unto us, every one of you, the Lord will bail you up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Number six, it's like you are in a prison locked up. Spiritually, you know you are caged. Crying for help. Are you in any spiritual prison? Are you in any spiritual cage? Are you in any spiritual confinement? You need an urgent bailout. Your work is not doing well. It's like they have nailed your work. I say 22 25. I say 2025. Say it shall come to pass today that the nail or peg that had been fastened in the short places shall be removed and the load upon it shall follow for the mouth of the Lord has said it. If they have used an invisible spiritual nail to and they say you can't go above this level. They have used an evil peg. Today, all I want you to do is say, big man, let the Lord remove the nail. In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord remove the peg. In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord remove the nail. In the name of Jesus. Say Jerusalem. Jerusalem. See the line upon you. But this is not your limit. So God is removing that spiritual nail. And and spiritual pain. Many years ago, I, God, God sent me to Ikaland. Ikaland in Nigeria. That's in Delta State. For 16 days, I was not in this church. God asked me to go. I ministered by the grace of God in Umunede. I ministered in Akumasi. I ministered in Owere Olubo. I ministered in Uto Obeje. When we were in Uto Obeje, a king came in and said, What's the name? Is it? You see this man you see in a very simple way here. And these people, they are dangerous Christians. He said, I was in redemption camp where this man was invited to pray for kings. Come and see 
how crowns were flying away when kings were manifesting. Say anything this man wanted to me tells you in the name of you better obey. After that, God opened my eyes. I saw a lizard on the chest of the king. You were there with me. Who was there with me? Lay it up your hand and nobody. Ah, my show. Then the Lord said, and the man said, can you follow me to Mbiri? I said, the Lord said, go. On getting there, we prayed on the palace. When we were about entering our vehicle, I had Wale. God called me. He said, look at the bush. Count four trees. One, two, three, four. Media, please, this mysterious tree, the picture is with you. Find it out by next week. So that people can see that what I'm telling them is real. And the Lord said, go there, recite Psalm 29. And then blow the shofar. And I called a few of my people. If they show you the picture, you will see it. And I said, here, O ye three. If they have nailed the people's blessings to you today, the nail will be removed. They will be bailed out. They will be released. They will escape. That the Bible says, in the name of Jesus, the voice of the Lord is full of power and majesty. The voice of the Lord turned over the water. The voice of the Lord break the cedar. Even the cedar in Lebanon. So you are not as big in the realm of the spirit as the cedar. So anything they have put in your belly and they have nailed to you so that people will not get freedom. But the finished work of Calvary, let the voice of the Lord enter into your belly. Remove those nails and set the people free in the name of Jesus. I blew the shofar and left the place. Ladies and gentlemen, not up to seven days, 12 noon, when it was very sunny, thunder came from heaven. Got that tree stricken. The tree was scattered. If you are from that village, confirm now. And a big pot physically go jumped go. out. They saw the names of sons and daughters home and abroad there oh, and five know. snakes. They saw nails there that they show? used to peg the people. That, come when that was the end of evil nails nailing the people. God God them out. The I stand as a prophet. Let the Lord go to your land of nativity. Oh, let the Lord go to your land of birth. If there is any name, they have used to nail you, your progress, in the water kingdom, in any covenant, in, in any shrine, in any, in any temple. Let the Lord remove the name. In the name of Jesus. Go we remove the name. 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 Go we bail you out. In the name of Jesus. God wants to bail you out. You have been on the same spot for too long. You have been in this on the same negative situation. The same ne negative condition. That's the power of God. Give that person water. Same negative atmosphere. Same negative environment. Same waiting period for too long. Everyone in that condition with a very loud amen. The Lord will bail you out. In the name of Jesus. You see people are receiving their deliverance. I'm going to tell you seven things. Please answer me. How many things? How many things? Number one, oh my God. you are going to escape. Wabo. In the name of Jesus, you will escape. Oh my God. Ah. Lord God Jesus. Pastor Bukolo Aladdin, you jump up say, In the name of Jesus, I will escape. Lord God Jesus, my God. I will escape. Did I ask you to stand up? I'm talking to my wife now. Say, I will escape in the name of Jesus. Psalm 71, verse 2, Psalm 141, verse 10. Get ready when I'm going to call you out. I will first call out pastors. I'm in crusade mood. But my, but my interpreter is not in crusade mood. He's not following me. So he's playing Ogadia. 
Psalm 71. Verse 2. Says, please sit down, sit down. Seven things. Deliver me your righteousness, oh Lord. Enough is enough. I'm growing older. Cause me to escape. I want to escape. I want to escape. Holy Spirit, deliver me. I want to escape. Cause me, my wife, my children, my work, my ministry to escape. Incline your ear to me. Get it, see, see me. Because save me, oh. Me. I want to escape, oh. oh Bible. Deliver me your righteousness. Bible. Don't, 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 don't. Anyone who agrees with me, go, 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 me. That that scripture will work for you them. Share, you share it, no matter the terrible situation that you, you are go, in. Go, go, in the name of Jesus, don't you will escape. You will escape. Your work will escape. Your family will escape. Amen. You will escape. Amen. You will escape. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will shout till the whole time. I will escape in the name of Jesus. What to go? I will escape in the name of Jesus. 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 I will escape in the name of let the wicked fall into their own nets. While I escape safely. Ah ah. They don't they pursue me. What is let me? They don't they rest. What check is They don't forget. What is that? Say this year. We go do I don't go grieve for anybody. Oh, nigga, find the canny. Say I don't go grieve. So nigga. Say I'm now. Tell your neighbor, don't grieve for the devil this year. The wicked and walk. Terrify your progress. For for years. Does that keep praying? No answer. Sit down. When you are about getting it, they just come in so your dream back back. and they reverse the whole order. Why no job? Now, that net they have set for you. That pit they have dug for you. I don't know who's going to say the ladder. Let them fall into their own pit. In the name of Jesus. They have been delaying your children from getting married. They don't allow your husband to make it. They don't allow your wife to make it. They don't allow your, to make don't allow your children to make it. Every, every pit they have dug. To forsake your life. Can I hear a big guy, man? Let them fall into it. In the name of Jesus. Let them fall into it. In the name of Jesus. Let them fall into it. In the name of Jesus. This is your portion now. You will now escape safely. Can I pray like this? Anointing for me and you to escape safely. Some people can escape into disaster. But you escape safely in a peaceful land. No, 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 fear. And some today. Anointing the power of God, the oil of God to escape safely. For me and you and our family members all over the world, all our children, anointing to escape safely. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. Amen. Receive. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, yes, you didn't, you didn't sound it very well. Shout, we we escape safely. Ah, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, yes, say, hear all ye heavens, hear all ye heavens, hear all ye heavens, the four corners of the world, the the of the world. world. hear this proclamation, hear this proclamation. Hear this proclamation. As, of today. as of today, from, today. from any wicked situation, from from any wicked wicked situation. Me, and me and my family, in the name of we will escape safely in the name of Jesus. Till it out there, amen. Number two. Quickly, quickly. You are coming out of any spiritual imprisonment to reign. 
When you come out of that prison, the next thing they will make you president. Like a passenger from the prison to presidency. <laughs> it's in the Bible. Ecclesiastes 4:14. For he comes out of prison to be king. <laughs> Although he was born poor from his kingdom, when you come out of that terrible situation, when the oil of bailout is upon you, when the oil to escape comes upon you, me and you and our family, when we come out, we will come out of the prison to run. In the name of Jesus, say it to yourself, I am coming out. I am coming out of the prison to rule and reign. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, I am coming out. I am coming out to rule and reign. Say, I am coming out. I am coming out of that prison. Of that that prison. To rule and reign. To rule and reign. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One loud amen. 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 Sit down. Number three. Mm. Number three. Mm. Number three. Mm. Number three. Mm. You shall not be hidden in any spiritual prison again. Oh, if you have permission to tubu, Isaiah 42 verse 22. This. Is a people. I mean, when that's how the Bible has written it. They have been robbed. They have been plundered. All of them, they are sneered in holes. Spiritually. Physically, they look good. But they are in spiritual holes. And they are hidden in prison houses. Prison of stagnation. Prison of disappointment. Prison of frustration. Prison of touch and feel. They are for prey. No How one delivers. Yeah, no one, no one delivers. For plunder, no one says restore. If you have been robbed, if you have been robbed, you have been plundered, you are have you have been snared in a hole. Don't you are walking around, but they you are in a spiritual hole, and they have hidden you in a spiritual prison. That's why things are not working, and they have taken you for a prey. No one to say, be delivered. I have come as a privileged apostolic priest to say, today in the name of Jesus, from that imprisonment, in the name of Jesus, if your amen can be amen, be delivered. Amen. In the name of Jesus, be restored. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number four, quickly. God is bringing you out miraculously. Psalm 142 verse 7. Psalm 142 verse 7 says, Bring my soul out of prison. I can't go on like this. My life cannot go on like this, Lord. Bring the soul of my marriage out of prison. Bring the soul, the, the, the soul of everyone in my family out of the prison. That I may praise you. I can't praise you in this condition, Lord. The righteous shall surround me. For you will deal bountifully with me. Anyone who is in a spiritual prison and you don't know how to get out, miraculously, the Lord will bring your soul out. Amen. Amen. You are coming out miraculously. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Number five. You are coming out by divine visitation. Acts 5.19 The apostles I'm apostolic. But at night, the, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, you can go to the public and preach. If you are in any spiritual prison that eyes cannot see, by this angelic visitation you are receiving us from today, in the name of Jesus, you are coming out. Hey, man. Look at Acts 12, 7. Peter was in the prison also. Paul. The Bible says, now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison. He struck Peter on the side and raised him on the same, and rise quickly, and the chain fell off his hand. If there is an invisible chain or cord, they used to tie you down, tie your ministry down, tie your work down, tie your husband down, tie your wife down, tie your children down, in any spiritual prison, whether your land of nativity, whether your place of birth, whether your environment, whether in the water kingdom, in any coven, in any temple, in any altar, in any shrine, every strength 
dark shame that they have used to tie you down to where you don't belong. In the name of Jesus, break, 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 Sixteen twenty-five to 26, Paul and Silas, they were in the prison. They sang, they prayed, and Holy Ghost came down. Paul and Silas, they sang. They prayed, the Holy Ghost came down. Paul and Silas, they sang. Amen. 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 For not singing with me. Oh, your face yourself, too. The person who claps louder will receive the greater miracle. In the name of Paul and Silas, they prayed, they sang. The Holy Ghost came down. Paul and Silas, they prayed, they sang. The Holy Ghost came down. Paul and Silas, they prayed, they sang. The Holy Ghost came down. Amen. Amen. The way they escaped from the prison, everyone who has clapped, you are coming out. Amen. Hey, I said you are coming out. Amen. Hey, By divine visitation. You are coming on! Amen. Amen. Number six, quickly, quickly. I don't have time. The snare we is broken. Amen. The snare is broken. You will escape. Amen. Psalm 124, verse 7. Psalm 127. Your soul, my soul, has escaped as a border of the snare of the fire. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Now, lift up your two hands like this. Say, the snare is broken. The snare, the snare is broken. Is broken. Say, I have escaped. I have escaped. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, this snare is broken. This snare is broken. Myself and my family members. Myself and my family members. members. Our walks. Our walks. Have escaped. Have escaped. In the name of Jesus. In the name you of Jesus. Shall we have escaped. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Big amen. Amen. Number seven. Then I'm going into what we brought up here. As a believer, you must walk in Calvary dominion. Okay. You will read Isaiah 49, 24 to 26 on your own. All right. Galatians 4, 9. I love that. So get ready. But now, now, everyone say now. now. You are free to say, but now. now. Say it now. now. After you have known God. Or rather, unknown of God. How is it that you turn again to a weak and beggarly element to which you desire to be in bondage? You know God, He knows you. So you must not be in bondage again because you have known God and God knows you. Everyone saying amen, you are coming out of that bondage. Amen. Galatians 5 1, one of my favorite scriptures. So, what you must do now? Stand therefore in the liberty where which Christ has made you free. Don't be entangled again with any yoke of bondage. Isaiah 61 verse 1. God bless you, Pastor Daily. The man is in the spirit. Yes, Isaiah 61 verse 1. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good tactics to the poor. He has sent me to, to the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to those who are bound. Everybody, do you know that there's nothing good about the prison? Please sit down. Let me run something quickly. Let me tell you the characteristics of a prison so that you will pray. Number one, it's a place of punishment. It's a place of restriction. A place of limitation. A place of regimentation. When they regiment you, they say, you can't go beyond this place. That's all. This is the time you will eat. This is the time you will not eat. A place of defeat. The prison is a place of loneliness, a place of sorrow, a place of frustration, a place of unhappiness, a place of confusion. A, a, a place where you are the mercy of the prison authority. In the realm of the spirit, those who have captured you and they are controlling you. Today, by the anointing of bail out, an anointing for you to escape, God will deliver you from their hands. Yeah, In the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Listen up. It's a place where meaningful, productive years are wasted. By the time they release you, time don't go. It's a place where you are controlled. A place where you can't express yourself. The prison, whether physical prison or spiritual prison, is a place you can enjoy freedom. You lack privacy. A place you are hindered, you are prevented. A place you, that your self-esteem is lowered. A place no one wants to be. A place that subtracts from your destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, I've come to announce to you today. By the anointing of bailout. By the anointing of escape. Anyone in any spiritual prison. 
In the name of Jesus, you are coming out. Amen. I say you are coming out. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. In closing, I want to mention some prisons that God is releasing people today. Number one is the prison of joblessness. Amen. If you are in that prison, as I mentioned, your own. Come on. Prison of no new contracts. You don't have new projects again. Prison of stagnation. Prison of no more progress. Prison of almost get there. Prison of neutral lifestyle. You are not moving forward. You are not going backward. Prison of wandering and walking without results. Prison of embarrassment. Prison of shocking frustration. Prison of acute delay. Prison of non-achievement. Prison of laboring without results. Prison of unfruitfulness. Prison of unhappiness. Prison of lack of care, lack of love. Prison of no helper to help. Prison of confusion. Prison of prolonged stagnation. Prison of terrible disappointment. Prison of no settlement, marital law in any way. Prison of evil family flow. Prison of uniform family suffering, the same suffering. Prison of circular problems. Prison of chronic sicknesses. What does the Bible say? It says in Galatians 5.1, Stand therefore in the liberty we are with Christ has made you free. Don't be entangled again with any yoke of bondage. Everyone, lift up your two hands. Shout seven loud hallelujah to the Lord. We will clap and sing this song. I have just six minutes more, and I have a lot to dis dispense to you. You will now say, Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, O Lord, by your power, by your fire. Deliver me, O Lord. Amen. By the time we sing it two times, I'll turn it to machine gun. When I say, deliver me, O Lord, deliver me, O Lord. The choir that should back me up, they want me to call them. My backup, they want me to call them. They have become a FC backup. All right. Thank you. And when I want to discipline, you know I discipline absolutely. All right? Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Do you want to be delivered? Yes, sir. See, on this altar, we vomit prayer. From the Bible, I've taught you Bible. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, stand very well. Deliver me, <laughs> deliver me, deliver me, oh Lord, by your fire, by your fire, deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, oh Lord, by your power, by your fire, deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me, oh Lord. Now you will shout the loudest. We don't have time. Say by the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. You may not have time for repetition again. By the power in the name of Jesus. By, by the, the power, power in the name of Jesus. By the anointing of fire. By the anointing of fire. Myself and my family members. Myself, myself and my family, family members. And our works. And our works. We jump out. We jump out. Out of any prison of bondage. Out of any prison of bondage. Out of family prisons. Out of family prison. Marine prison. Marine prison. Witchcraft prison. Witchcraft prison. Environmental prison. Environmental prison. National prison. National prison. Spiritual prison. Spiritual prison. Physical prison. Physical prison. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jump out. We jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. We jump out. 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 Jump out.
Say anointing to escape. Anointing to escape. Anointing for bailout. Anointing for bailout. From any spiritual prison. From any spiritual prison. Concerning me and my family. Concerning me and my family. Concerning my work. Concerning my work. Concerning our works. Concerning our works. Anointing for bailout. Anointing for bailout. Anointing to come out. Anointing to come out. Anointing to escape. Anointing to escape. From any form of prison. From any form of prison. In the name of Jesus. Family out. God, we pay my family out. We pay our works out. We pay our work out. Say, bail out anointing. Bail out anointing. Escape anointing. Escape anointing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are ready, my family. We are ready, my family. In the name of Jesus. 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 Lifting elevations concerning you and your family and your children home and abroad. See, if the prison doors have shut against them, you must command the prison doors to shut, to, to open. Lift up your hands, so you gaze and be lifted up your velocity that the king of glory will come in. The gate must open so that those things can come out. I believe that sister is in this meeting right away. That was the day we prayed a, a, this similar prayer and she had been to her village when she was small. But overnight, I recorded it. It's on my iPad. Said, someone came. You are from the house of Balogun. That church you went yesterday. That is the church to go. The prayer that you prayed affected us. So, do you see this oil here? We use it to counterfeit oil of anyone going about churches. And the, in the church, they are not genuine. But in your church, the power of God is tangible. You see this cola knot will remove people. But when you were praying in that church yesterday, they said we should release you. And the woman announced, the sister is in this thing, and the woman announced that of all the people in the family, we release you. The oil they gave you there yesterday, use it. That's, that was the beginning of escape. And blessings started coming in. And they told her, the doors are now open. I don't know whether you are the next one who will testify. If you can pray it. Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask, you shall receive. Seek, you will find. Knock. So, it's now you speak. Parents, speak on your behalf, on behalf of your children. And say, the doors that have shut against their blessings, you command it to open. And when you are praying that prayer, you pray with anger. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Say by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Say by the anointing of fire. By the anointing of fire. Prison doors. Prison doors. Shut against our blessing. Shut against our blessing. In my family. In my family. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Lift up your hands, all you guys. Lift up your hands, all you guys. And be ye lifted up. And be ye lifted up. Ye everlasting doors. Ye everlasting doors. That the King of Glory. And the King of Glory. We open the door. We open the door. Who is this King of Glory? Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong. The Lord strong. The Lord mighty. The Lord mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. The Lord mighty in battle. And again, you shall lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. All you guys. All you guys. And be ye lifted up. And be ye lifted up. Ye everlasting doors. Ye everlasting doors. That the King of Glory. That the King of Glory. We open the prison. We open the prison doors for me and my family. For me and my family and our world. And our world. Who is this King of Glory? Who is this King of Glory? Then you will shout, the Lord of Hosts. The Lord of Hosts. Say it again. The Lord of Hosts. Say it again. The Lord of Hosts. He is the King of Glory. He is the King of Glory. Say all the spiritual prison doors. All the spiritual prison doors against my blessings. Against my blessings. Our blessings. Our blessings. Breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Progress. Progress. Elevation. Elevation. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By fire. Break by fire. Break by fire. Break by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 Many of you, you were praying the body of the prayer. We are praying the body of the prayer. Command. Command. God be saying, open by fire. Open by command. That's all. Don't be praying the body of the prayer. Say by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. All the prison doors. All the prison doors that have shut. That have shut against our blessings. Against our blessings. In my family. We are the word of the Lord. We are the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open by fire. Open by fire. Open by fire. Open by fire. Open by fire.
to be prayer. Stretch your hands toward this altar. No matter how long they have shut the door. So in Revelation chapter 3, verse 6, 7, verse 7. He said, he has the key of David. The door he opens, nobody shut. The door he shuts, nobody open. Today, all those closed doors, prison doors, that have shut down our blessings with a very loud united them. Let them open in the name of Jesus. Open, 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 Pastors, you have never traveled abroad. Hey. And God is showing you vision that you are to minister here and there. Oh, ministers of God, wherever you may be, I want you to lift up your two hands above your head. Let the Lord open international doors for you. Business people, young men and women, let the Lord open international doors for all our children. The best, the family with the loudest, amen. Doors we open for you. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I raise an altar. For God, who opens doors of opportunities during famine? You, don't worry, you will touch it later. To open doors for us. During this global famine, I raise an altar for God to open doors for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Doors of opportunities. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. the Holy Ghost. Amen. This oil by faith will touch you where you are. Amen. During global famine, in the name of Jesus, let doors of opportunities open for you. Yeah. Any power that may want to challenge you, challenge me after this prayer. The Bible says, as we move from one country to another, from one people to another, he suffers no man to do us any wrong. He rebukes the kings for our sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Powers that may want to challenge us after this prayer, that power shall die. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the earth swallow that power. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As from now, the benefits of a spiritual emancipation, spiritual liberty, spiritual freedom in Galatians 5 1. Everyone receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, anointing for bailout. Anointing of escape, let it fall on us. Amen. In the name of God, the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. the Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus. And we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, set. say, I am free. I am free. Are you happy? Come and see what will happen after this prayer. By faith, the oil is upon you. By faith, the oil is upon you. I want to give my life to Jesus. Can you come before the altar? God will lift you up, son. He will lift you up. I have not given my life to Jesus. I want to enjoy Jesus. They are enjoying on this altar. Just leave them. As their faith. Uh, I want to give my life to Jesus. Who is that person outside there, inside? Can you please come? Let's get our offering prepared. I want to surrender to Master Jesus. It is important you surrender to him. He's the one who can do everything I've been talking about. So those of you who want to surrender your life to Jesus, confess him as your Lord and Savior. May I request you rise up and come before the altar. All right, wherever you may be saved, my Father and my God, I have, I have your word today. Come into my life. Fill me up with your power. Wash me clean from my, all my sins. As from today, I declare that I'm for you. 
in the name of Jesus. Be in touch with all our centers and be blessed in Jesus' name. Have you been blessed today? Can we give God a befitting offering? Those of you who want to redeem your pledges, could you please come before the altar? Psalm 50 verse 5, gather my sins unto me, those who have made covenants with me by sacrifice. Someone is saying, Lord, I thank you for bringing me for service today. <laughs> you, you can't predict what God can do on the mountain of Clive. Father, we give you thanks for what you have done for us today. We are very grateful. As we have come to worship you with our offerings, online and on site, accept our sacrifices in the name of Jesus. Wherever they have put you before against your wish, financially, God has lifted you from that place. You move forward. In Jesus' name. If you know that God has paid you out, may I request you rise and dance unto the Lord. And I want some of you to come and dance before the altar to just celebrate your emancipation from that prison. Not, oh yes. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. Huh. He has taken away my sorrows and now. I can make her hallelujah. I can make her
people can see, people are happy. One of the signs of liberty that God has answered our prayer. That man turned 40 on Monday. So he's celebrating. May the Lord bless you. Take care of your destiny. From this altar, you will go around the world. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you, your wife, your children, and your ministry in Jesus' name. Can you see that people are happy? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, abide with every one of us in Jesus' name. Now, arising from this ministration today, what you will do, any habit that you will exhibit that is negative, that may take you back to the prison, let the Lord deliver you from there. It shall be well with every one of us in the name of Jesus. Oh God, 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 we pray your holy name. Give God one loud hallelujah. hallelujah. I love you with the love of God. Thank you.